welcome back to another episode. Before we get started, do us a massive favor, subscribe to our channel, like this video. Now that that's done, let's see what we get up to in Masul Raja Umpire. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. Masul, a popular scuba diving destination and home to some of the most incredible reefs and biodiverse marine life on the planet. In the early 2000s, destructive fishing practices were destroying the biodiverse reefs around the Masul Islands. And in an effect to overcome this in 2005, a collaboration with a local community and an eco resort introduced a no-take zone in Masul. Since then, this community has worked in collaboration with the Raja Ampat Marine Park Authority in securing Masul Islands are protected from destructible and unsustainable activities. These people are park rangers that look after the area and today we had a visit from them. They were super lovely and just came to check our passports and take photos. It was a much friendlier visit compared to the first one we had here. We're going to have a fire and a pizza night on the beach. We've all just sort of collected some rocks and a bit of tin, made ourselves a pizza oven. We're going to stoke that up now and get some heat into her and get ready for some pizzas. Timber out here lights extremely easy in the wild. I'll give you a look. Have a look at this. You'd think all this wet timber won't light up, hey? That's how that's done, Liam. <laughs> Look at that, hey? <laughs> Wet timber and she goes up like that. More kind of sand. Even the sand gets on fire. Everything around here lights up. Look at this place, hey? Boats over there, two, three, four hundred metres away. Fire on the beach, clear water, pizza night. Oh. Get both going, just, just find as much small stuff as we can. Tell us what you're doing, Dad. Just um, rubbing these bamboo sticks together. You get them really hot. It does take a minute or two. Bear with me, guys. What's the technique you're using? Oh, hold on. I just lost me a bit of timber. So you put it in the middle there like that, and you rub it down on another piece of timber, like so. There we go. Ready? She's getting warm. I can feel it. I can feel it in my hands. It's getting real close here, I reckon. Couple more rubs and we should have this going. We we'll breather for a second. All right, here we go. Yep, she's she's just about there. Oh, little blow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just blew it out. Where's the lighter? That didn't look too well. <laughs> What's happening here is the mums and us girls were watching a movie inside Nalakai and the boys tried to sneak in and scare us.
but what they didn't know is we saw them coming in. So, better luck next time, guys. Some fresh perspective listening. This girl, get a hunch, she's built for destruction. You can't trust her. You know who you have to trust, Dusty? Each other. Yeah. So let her go. Maybe get some, you know. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you, you guys heard Taj, didn't you? We can see we him! Can see him. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dad's got the pizza oven going. Maybe you can turn the way. Messing around, but that has changed now. That has changed. I never thought I could settle down, but that has changed now. Truth is, that night it started raining, so we ended up eating on the back of Nalakai. But the next night, we thought we'd make use of all the hard work the boys did of building it, and we went over and cooked our potatoes to go with our beautiful stew. Mum lost some footage again. We visited a very special place full of love. Yes, it's a love heart shaped lagoon. I used to think another wasted night, but not anymore. places here in Masul. We've been here for a little while because um, it's pretty nice. We've had rain and cloudy days for the last few days but the sun's out today and um, we are heading up to another spot uh, in Masul. It's supposed to be incredible diving so super excited about that but first of all we're going to untie from Nalakai and untie the lines from the rocks and we're going to get on our way. It's about 20 nautical miles away I think so it should take us about four hours. Kids are in position. The kids are in position. The big oak kids are getting ready. Undo the lines. Got a little bit of windage on us this morning, so we've got two tenders pulling us away into the wind. We're on our way to another anchorage. So we're gonna go untie the lines, I'm going to keep Kachalpa out here and off the reef. On our way to the next stop, where we would call home for the next few days, was the beautiful islands of Babulbol. Babulbol is located at the tip of a long chain of islands and islets extending east from the mainland, Masul. We find our anchorages here in Indonesia by using a guide or looking on the app Overtel. And if you're planning on visiting Raja Ampat, make sure that you are bringing plenty of long ropes for tying up to the rocks, as it is very limited anchoring. For more tips on sailing Indonesia, we have a specific video in our mates club.
teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Imagine waking up here and having this as your backyard. It was time to explore and see more of this magical place. Ah, that was like my necklace I had. Hey you, and welcome to the <laughs> lot of shacks here on the beaches. Some are old homestays from before COVID times and we guess some of these are for tourists that come for the day. But I think at the moment these huts are used mostly by fishermen to rest and cook their food in. flowers and you know what that means she's going to make some flower crowns dance around the beach and take photos <laughs> you look super gorgeous oh you're so pretty <laughs> Even dad couldn't escape. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> dad acting as the tour guide, we went around and we saw these beautiful rock islands and crystal clear waters. <laughs> Look at those big arms though, ladies and gentlemen. You couldn't uh, sh shuck a coconut any quicker. Bella's still struggling. Once she gets it started though, she'll be into it. You may need some tips from Captain Coconut over there. 
Hey guy, you're in it. Yeah, she's nearly there. <laughs> Hi, you go. Hey, she's into it. Yeah, yeah. Trick is to get these and rub them on the sand. I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> <laughs> she's been on an island for days. <laughs> Did you know fallen coconuts kill around 150 people a year? Dad, look out! I'll tell you, they fall from the heavens. Knocked them out on the way down. Now I'm starving. <laughs> we brought home some coconuts for those who had slept in and enjoyed delicious coconuts for breakfast. Thanks for sticking around for another episode. If you enjoyed watching, consider signing up to become a patron to help us in continuing to make these videos every single week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.